Hey guys, welcome back to World Adventures 2019. I'm Landros. Now, as promised, the next thing we are headed out to do is to go do some more traveling. And uh, we are going to Egypt. It's our very first trip to Egypt. We're doing this so that we can actually take care of that um, opportunity that we had from, e uh, from France. So we're on our way over, and this one... Uh, yeah, we need to go to Egypt. We only have three days. You know, let me think this through. Let me see. We've got the points, and I don't really care about the rest. Let's stop for a minute. Let's go ahead and get him to do this. We are going to actually have a few extra days, because I want to be able to spend some time there. Um, you need to have, <coughs> where is it? Pair traveler. It's going to give us an extra three days that we go over and do it. So let's go ahead and grab that first. And let's see. Um, oh, you want to go by the library and see if she's there? Okay, we can do that. We'll just go swing over there. Hold on. We're going to go ahead and purchase our prepared traveler. And let me go just double check at the library, which I believe is right down the street from us. Too, not too far. It's right over here. So let's go see if she's out. You said that she might be hanging out there. That's kind of her haunt. And let's just double check. Uh, nobody on the second floor that I see. Nobody here. And let's see, what about the first floor? Well, doesn't look like we've got too many people, but that's Lena. And who else? Anybody? Not looking like anybody. And I don't think there's a level underneath. I really don't. Nope. <laughs> so that is it. So she's not there. <laughs> okay, so we don't see her there. And uh, some of you guys could be all over the place. But we're going to go ahead and travel on out of here now. And this time we should be uh, we should be actually able to stay for six days. Where's real estate? Travel. There we go. We've got the money. Sitting with 96,000, so we should have no problem. And let's take a look. Now we got six days minimum, which is awesome. Let's head on out. I've been looking forward to getting to Egypt, and so I'm kind of excited to go. Yeah, no, we don't have any adventures there. And he's already got his motorcycle put away, so I did stick it in the inventory. We are good to go. Um, hopefully everything will be fine here at the house. I think it should be. I don't really have anything here that they're going to worry about. Um... Is so anybody living? Oh, yeah, that's where your Kachin, <laughs> wherever she is. She's around here. We've met her once. We're going to have to throw a party. Um, I think you can throw a party at other places, too, and I haven't done that. So typically I throw a party at my house, but maybe we should throw a party somewhere else. And uh, give, it, give it a try somewhere different because I don't think I've done that. Um, certain lots I think you could do. I don't know. <clears throat> then again, we've got plenty of stuff in our house. There's a bar. There's a uh, <laughs> there's a hot tub. There's a massage table. So we've got a lot of stuff there we could do. But the pool is pretty close, and it's a really nice pool. So I'm kind of thinking we do something like that. Maybe we do both, and then I'll get to see all of you guys because I think he's met just about everybody. I don't think he's met every single one that I put in, but he's met a lot. I think so. I, I don't really know for sure. Sorry if you hear this rattling, but I bought I bought some chips today, so I had to have some in the little break there. It's like I had to have something. I ate, but it was really early, and I wasn't happy with what I ate. But it's okay. Um, there's always tomorrow. We can eat again then. All right, here we are in Egypt. I love these fly-throughs. I really do. I like all of them. But this one's probably my favorite, um, especially of the countries. Well, I do like the China one. France, it's okay, but it's nowhere near as impressive as some of these. But, yeah, I do like this one. First time I ever came here, I was so disappointed. I looked at this base camp and went, what? <laughs> this is where they have to stay after all this? All right, go ahead and go take care of this one. Um, we should be in good shape here. Go seek your assistance and we're good. Now before you get going too far, I don't want to mess you up. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, I know. 
turn your phone off. Let's go ahead and knock that out since I'm not going to need it. You want to go inside the pyramid? You'll definitely do that. I promise you. At some point, you will go into it. <clears throat> I don't think I set the exhaust. I didn't tune it up. Love the sound effects you get with the weather here. I really do. Or with the uh, the wind and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. I love this. All right, so here we go. We got our five beetles. Yes, we brought them. Let's go drop them off. Now, he did not get the wish to actually earn his uh, level one visa, which I'm surprised. And he should be getting that any minute. Also, you need to meet somebody new. So let's go ahead and just do your introduction real quick. There you go. All right, so the black market, seek assistance from Layla. Oh, good old Layla. <laughs> All right, go ahead and say hi to her. Layla with the nose. Um, seriously, you're not going to get the earn your level one visa? Ah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, you know, you can fix that next time. Become good friends with Zara. We can do that. So we're going to go ahead and set that up, too. Um, you want to buy a snake charming basket? I am going to do that. Hold on, hold on. Is this the one? Hold on. Seriously. <laughs> you didn't give me what I wanted. Oh. All right, so Zara, here you are. Um, where is Layla? Oh, Layla's got a job. <laughs> and that nose. That nose will forever be <laughs> imprinted in my memory. Doesn't look bad on her. But on all my sims, man, it was rough. All right, so Zara and you need to be good friends. That would be fine. Um, <clears throat> while you are here, deliver two relics. Yeah, we can do this. Surprise, you didn't get that wish to actually do what I'm about to do. You want to meet somebody new? I'll do that in a minute. I'm surprised we're not... Yep, we already got level one, so we won't get it at all. All right, purchase or obtain a relic worth 500. Yeah, we already got it. But I want to see what she's got on sale as well. <clears throat> you might as well while you're here, right? Let's see if we get lucky with anything that's going to be hard to find later. Which would be like the, uh, oh, <laughs> get that if you can. Um... Let's see, anything else I want? I think that's basically it. So yeah, you definitely want those. Alright, now that you said hi, uh, let's go over here. Let's go purchase a few things over here too. Okay, now we gotta go back to France. Well, yeah, we're not gonna do that right away. So at least we've kinda locked that out. At this point, we'll head back over. Um, I'm gonna have him meet her. Uh, this guy is going to go buy something, and we're going to go buy something at the bookstore, and then we'll go back to the base camp and work from there. We got them all just sitting around doing nothing. Larga, not you love it? Hey, you want a little brother or sister? <laughs> just let your dad anger me, because it'll happen. All right, I want the camera. I want the steak charming. I want this. Uh, don't think I need the rest of this stuff. I think we're okay. I don't know how many shower to cans I've got, so we'll buy two. I think I got plenty. And... <laughs> Alright. Be careful, because I'm on the lookout for baby mama number two. I haven't found it in France, but I'll find one here. That nose scares me, so I'm not going to do that to myself. So Layla's pretty safe. All right, here we go. Uh huh. Yeah, you're gonna buy basically these, these, and this. Uh, I don't need that. Would buy these books, but I don't need any of them. All right, let's head on back to the base camp real quick. <coughs> so that's as fast as it takes to do that little piece from France. So if you really don't want to come spend six days, don't buy Prepared Traveler. Or you could just do this and go right back home, so it's not going to be that big of a difference. However, um, I just figured since we're going to come over here and we didn't get that wish to actually get your level 1 visa, it's not really going to matter. You want to take a photograph because we just bought that, didn't you? Alright, go ahead and do that because it bothers me. I <laughs> just can't help it. Um, 
let's go in here and go ahead and find our next adventure and somebody sent me some gifts in the meantime mm. <clears throat> that's awesome all right this is your best adventure chain because believe me it never stops all right from sage i am a lady assume assassin and cockatoo god bless america all right i love it okay i wish i could send something back i can't but i do appreciate it so much all right you're gonna go ahead and go report into this one this chain sets off pretty much one of the longest adventure chains that you're ever going to get in World Adventures. It is, I mean, seriously, as long as you've got Pengu Zacks, you can go to town on this one. You can be here forever. You won't have to stop and think, what do we do next? It'll keep you busy. Uh, we will not wrap it up in six days. We will try, but we're not even going to come close. Uh, we'll get into one of the tombs and we'll end up stopping at some point. Probably leave the tomb in the middle of it. <laughs> Usually that's kind of what happens. Or I might get smart enough and actually stop it before we go. I don't know. All right, here's your first one. This, of course, is your basic tomb. And I would have to say that of all the three countries, even though I've always said that Egypt has the most extensive of all the tombs, this one right here is probably the easiest of any tomb you'll ever go to. There's nothing to it. I mean, really, nothing to it. So, all right, let's go ahead and just start right here. <coughs> and there's really no, um, whatchamacallit, there's no danger. All right, I know you're looking at it for the first time, but we've seen it. <laughs> we've done this. All right, I should read these. I think this is basically going to be like everything else. It tells you that you should have shower in a can you should have food on you all that kind of stuff whatever yep tent dried food blah 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 <laughs> whatever you want it's just kind of that hey don't come in here starving to death or you're gonna have to leave and it happens a lot of course at this point with this guy like i said he doesn't have to worry about any of it he can take care of himself now we want to get ourselves to level two so that we can get um a couple of things from the special merchant so I won't buy a Sultan's Tabernacle with her, with him. I will actually buy the uh, excavation tool. That would be the biggest thing I get. <clears throat> Again, nothing different, nothing hard. This is all extremely basic. And it pretty much will be this way all the way through. I'll go ahead and stand on this. I always double check my walls just in case I've forgotten. Because sometimes I do. But like I said, it's pretty basic. Um, move this one back. <coughs> and I should have just pulled once. I don't have to pull far. Now this time you do want to pull far. And everybody's good. I'm not listening to anything on my multi-tab, which I'm kind of kicking myself that I'm not doing something. I guess really, uh, what were we working on last? I think we are working on fishing and nectar making at the same time. So let's go ahead and get that started. <clears throat> so we at least have something going. Alright. Pull you. Check always your torches. They don't always do anything, but sometimes you get one that will rarely actually do something for us. And then, of course, check these guys, too. Sometimes you can move them and there's a inspection hole behind it. But, obviously, this one, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Pretty simple to get through, and that is it for the tomb. That's all there is to this one. Yeah, there's a hidden room, which we're going to hopefully discover once we open this chest. But that's about it. And did it do it? Nope. Surprise, we didn't get a wish to find a hidden door. <clears throat> but that is really all we got. Again, like I said, this one, if... Um, if I had to pick the easiest tomb of all, <laughs> this one would probably be the top contender because there's not a whole lot to it. All right, go ahead and open these guys up. Now, that little sound you hear, <laughs> it gets annoying after a while, but you just kind of have to drown it out if you can. All right, go ahead and take that one. That is our first of the nine. Or no, this one's got 13 sigils, I believe. 13 rel relics in this one. So, quite a bit more. All right, there's this whole big story about Morhi Corp. So, um, if you follow the the adventures and you want to read through the whole thing, 
Um, it is there. <laughs> it is something you can read, which is pretty good. Now, wait a minute. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Stop, stop, stop. I forgot. There's a hidden door. There's a hidden one. All right, you're supposed to go out this way. Sorry. <laughs> I meant to do it. Um, there's just a little bitty area, so it's not much, but it's just one little area. I think it might even have a chest in it, but it won't be much. <clears throat> but I forgot. I have a habit of doing that sometimes. I, I know that it's there, and I just forget. <laughs> I just forget to go up there. It's your easy way out. Okay. Yep, I knew you had something else to do. <clears throat> Stand on that, and we should be good to go. Hopefully there's something decent in here. Uh, I would like to have the Egyptian gnome. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool. Oh, wait, I think I got one, didn't I? I might have gotten one already. No, we got ten copper bars. Don't sell them, because you'll get an opportunity for those, so you want to have them. Um, but don't sell them. I mean, you can, but you'll always find more. There's a copper quarry that is just insane. So you get lots of copper. All right, so that's everything. That's all we needed here. Again, simple as can be. And uh, <coughs> no dangers, nothing whatsoever. But it's just the lead off for a huge chain. So, which will take you into all of the major pyramids. So you don't have to worry about it if you're thinking, oh, do I need to pick a certain one for a pyramid? No, just start with this one. You'll get there. You'll get everything that you need. You won't get Cleopatra or whatever her name is. I forgot. It's not Cleopatra, but it's the same concept. You won't get her place, and uh, you won't get the secret hideouts. So, well, you get one of them. All right. There we go. Now we get to go report it again. Again, lots of little coins, lots of visa points that you're getting at this point, so you just keep them up. <clears throat> it's a... Um, it's good that we have those potions so we can get a lot more done. Now, if you don't know for sure, <laughs> you can keep going. There's a huge section underneath that market, which we're going to go to eventually. Ah, uh -huh. But the stairs are right there, just ready for you to go. Mm -hmm. All right, we're still making money on that stuff. Okay, Gem of the Sands, find four pieces of turquoise. All right, this one we may be hunting for a while. I don't know. Maybe not. But sometimes it takes a while for some of this stuff to show up. This is when you might want to have a nice jetpack, which we don't have, and it doesn't look like there's anything out here. However, doesn't mean you can't run over and go check, whatchamacallit, the consignment store, the relic store, or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Okay, so we may be kind of out of luck for a little, a little while. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going... Let's go back over here because I guess we didn't have any turquoise, did we? I don't think we got any anywhere else. Wait, where are you at? You're here? Alright, go over here first. Let's go see what she's got. I don't think she had any, to be honest with you. So I think uh, we're going to probably have to just wait until it all spawns again. And that's okay. <clears throat> if we have to, we have to. There is a place we could go right now that would actually be without a tomb. And it would be really quick and easy while we wait. <coughs> so you don't have to waste your time. Although you can. <laughs> you can waste all the time you want. Okay, let's see what you got. Uh, no turquoise, right? We are <laughs> we are not doing so hot. That's fine. Um, again, you can do whatever you like. However, what I would probably do, look again, make sure nothing spawned, there's two places you can go. One is the cemetery, and the other one, I believe, is Pyramid of the Wind. Yeah, Pyramid of the Wind. We want to go there. You will never get an opportunity that will take you here. <coughs> so, your best thing is just, when you've got downtime and you have nothing else to do, go find some of these places that you can actually do it. And, oh, you know what? I don't think his aging is off, to be honest with you. I don't think I turned it off. I believe I left it on. Or maybe, no. Yeah, I did. So all those people were aging up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm glad you guys said that. Um, 
yeah, that's probably going to do some problems, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, hopefully I didn't do too much damage with what we've done tonight. If we did, we did. I forget. I go back and forth because when I play Lacey, I have to turn the aging back on. And then when I come with him, I have to turn it off. I wish that it didn't do that. I wish it would be by save file and not global across all save files when you make that change. I really don't like that, but hey, what can you do? No game is perfect. Not a single one. Alright, this one, you should be able to inspect this one. I think this is the right one. It should be. Um, you want to actually fully explore a tomb. This may not be the one, to be honest with you. It may not. Uh, we can find out for sure, though. I'm going to speed it through that. Yeah, this is the one. Alright, go ahead and get one here. This one, again, you will never get an opportunity to go here, but there are stuff. there is stuff here. Now, obviously, we're getting this, which I believe we want to turn this off. Menu visibility on lots. Take that to false. So now we don't have the uh, little interest thing. <coughs> we will collect a little bit. Let's see. There's more copper. So we got plenty. At least I think it's copper. You're going to go ahead and actually inspect this hole. Um, there is a hole over here to inspect, but we're going to wait till he does, does this one first. Uh, <coughs> Alright, do I use story progression with Lacey? Yeah, I use the EA story progression. I haven't tried the story progression mod with my new computer yet. I really haven't. I thought about it. I thought about trying a test game out that would see if it works well or see if it does anything different. I just haven't done it yet. I really should. I should just open up a test game and just try it out for a little while. See if the game doesn't blow up on me, <laughs> which it might. It seems to blow up on me all the time. Alright, so we got that one taken care of. Go over and inspect this one real quick. There's no rhyme or reason as to the order of this. I just do it as I see fit. But like I said, this is one of those that if you can't do anything else, might as well waste your time working on something. <coughs> Alright, how about... There should be another room opening up. Or something should open up soon. <coughs> well, no, that's just a money bag. Let's go clear this one out. See how much that money bag was worth. Was it worth the trip? 332, I'll take it. I mean, I don't remember what our what our uh, cost was for this. Oh no, <laughs> that scared me. I was like, "What just happened?" Um, I think we just uh, set one of these traps up down here. You will possibly run into a mummy down here. By the way, it's possible. Not always likely, but it could happen. So don't be surprised <laughs> if you see one. All right, not down here in this one, but. Alright, yeah, stop it. Go we'll collect that and then let's dive into these. Is there anything over here? No. You got plenty of coins, you really have. Um <coughs> I don't think you can have mummy kids, but you can turn the mummy real into a, a regular sim again. So I've done that before. Um and I had a mummy. They lived in my house in Riverview with my family. Uh, they're so ridiculously slow. So the way I got around it is I gave her a hoverboard from that into the future. And she would use that all the time. So it was pretty cool. Just make sure if you, there's ever a fire, don't let the mummy come anywhere close. They burn instantly. But yeah, the, the little hoverboard worked just fine with her. She still was kind of slow around the house every once in a while. But she did okay didn't get to be too painful. <laughs> After a while it was like, I've had enough. So I did turn her real again. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. This is the one that's possible that you're going to get a mummy. Oh good, he's tired. <laughs> so that may get him cursed. I don't know. Eh, we'll probably see. Come on, buddy. I need you to go. He just wants to look around. <laughs> he's too tired to look around. 
Yeah, I should be looking up in map view to see if turquoise is spawned. But, I'll do that in a minute. Once I actually get him going for a little bit. Alright, go ahead and collect whatever this is. Which is nothing. Let's look inside here and see if we got lucky or unlucky. You never know. <coughs> Anything? Nope. Nope. <laughs> we got lucky. There's nothing. I was kind of hoping we would get a mummy, to be honest with you. I really wanted one. And that is it for this little tomb. There's really not a whole lot else to it. Uh, yeah, there were a couple of insects I could have kept, but I didn't. Alright, we're going to go ahead and slow him down for a minute. Let's go take a look. Yeah, we're going to use our... Where's it at? we got 45 of these. Go ahead and drink this real quick. And I'm going to send you out here to go pick up this first one. Oh, we can't get to it. Darn it. I hate when it spawns like that. You can try to collect it, but he's going to stomp his feet and say, No, he can't do it. And it's understandable because it spawned inside of something, which isn't good. And that's probably the only one that spawned. How much you want to bet? <clears throat> Alright, we froze. I <laughs> don't know why. Don't do that to me. Um, yeah, it's not looking good. Is it midnight yet? It's getting close. Okay, so far, not good. He's going out there towards it. I don't think he's going to get it. But if he does, hey, that's great. Wait, there's another one over here. Alright, so we'll go over to this one if he can't do that one. Alright, so at least we've got two, possibly. I hate that we have to go after four. <coughs> two would have been more than enough. And if I could if I could clone them, <laughs> I would do it, but I can't. You'd have to own property here to be able to clone something. Unless you cheat and put it down in uh, one of the shops. Oh, good. We got fishing up to nine. That's not bad. Alright. Nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing. We'll go back to uh, the market in just a minute when he gets finished with this. I just want to see him go stomp his feet at me. Because you know what's going to happen. You know he's not going to be able to do it. <clears throat> but I'm making him do this anyway. Because he has, I have had him do it. I had him switch and just put their hand right through it and grab it. Like that. <laughs> just like that. So it's, it's kind of something that you just... It's a judgment call. Do you waste the trip out there for the option to do that? Or do you just say, nah, it's not going to work? And I almost said no. I really did. I was just about to the point of saying, I'm not going to do this one. It's not worth my time. But it was. <laughs> so that, that works for me. All right, when you get to this place, I forgot to have you start this one, which would have been smart. But we will do a little bit more of nectar making. And I think you're close to that one, too. You're at eight. Okay, yeah, that one won't take long at all. <clears throat> Alright, we should be looking at the view because I'm just looking at sand, which is pretty much all we're going to see for right now anyway. I just like it. It's really pretty the way they did this one. It just, like I said, I think this is probably the most detailed of all the countries. Well, China's pretty detailed too, but this one, very interesting. I think the insides of the tubes are a lot better than anything else. The landscape of China probably beats this one slightly because of just the variety. So, I don't know. They're both really good. <coughs> okay, uh, while you get this way, get to this point, we'll go back up in here and look to see if anything else spawned. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> Okay, this is one of my favorite tombs right here. I can't wait to go do that one. Um, eh, seriously? Turquoise. Come on. Alright, looks like we're going to have to just do our best to wait for tomorrow. Although, if you wait till after midnight, which we already have, there is a chance that we could do, um, <coughs> we could do the relic store and get it. Alright, this scares me every time he does that. It just terrifies me that we're about to lose the game. So I'm going to probably stop him here and just do a real quick save. Because I just get that sneaky suspicion that the game is trying to say something like, I'm going to mess you up. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with that. So at least this way we've kind of covered ourselves, hopefully. 
as we get that dreaded air 12 <clears throat> which I haven't had that in a long time <clears throat> alright there's 204 we're halfway there would have liked to have gotten further this kind of kills my time but like I said I'm not really that concerned we've got quite a bit to do here so we will be working on it for a while however um, if we do have some downtime we can read our recipes and get that out of the way we can read some of the fishing stuff so there are things we could do and just wait <clears throat> at least we'll try yeah all right are you listening to uh listen to this first I'm sorry I meant to do this first and we'll send you back over here there we go we'll try this one more time doesn't take you long for this one let's see when you get here see what she's got and then I will keep an eye up here I don't know what the times are for rocks to spawn I really don't um, I think it's just random <laughs> it just happens whenever so it might have it might have shown up I don't know and if you see any mummy tomium or mummy tomium however you say it grab it <laughs> grab it as quick as you can because that wish co or that opportunity comes up too so you might as well have to go ahead and have it um I sold out all my silver gold and platinum so I sold all that out uh in in lucky palms I wouldn't hang on to it. Uh, you might need the titanium for for China, uh, but we've already done that op that opportunity. But yeah, the only thing I hold on to is the copper, and I really don't even need to hold on to that because we'll get plenty of it. But like I said, he's already got it, so when you get that wish, it'll just be here. Turn it in, you're done. <clears throat> but yeah, if you want to sell everything else out, yeah, I would sell it. This is the one right here, this ruby of Sakara or whatever it is. Don't sell that. <laughs> just leave it. Don't even take it out of your inventory. Just don't mess with it. Ignore it. Pretend like it doesn't exist. Because if you sell that, <laughs> we're done. We got turquoise. All right, check and see if there's anything good here. Grab these Mamatobium. This one is actually, because it's got a name, it is actually a good one. And I buy this palladium. I don't know why. I just... I always have. Whenever I see it, I buy it. Whenever I can use it. The Star Keystone, um, if it was a heart, I would buy it. If it was. Because there's that tomb over in France. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. There we go. We got our first Canopic Jar. Uh, there's five of those. And <clears throat> that's how you either get a mummy to come join your household. I believe if, if it's a guy that puts it in there, I think you get a girl. It's a girl that puts them in there. You get a guy. I can't remember. It's weird like that. Alright, here we go. Discuss Mercucorp with some Egyptians. Okay, this is where you gotta love that social networking thing. So, we didn't actually set it up already. However, we're gonna go back right over here to the base camp. And we're gonna make sure that we can take care of everybody in one shot. Um... <laughs> This guy right here, I don't think we know him, so let's go over here and just do a charming introduction. At this point, since he's got a high uh, charisma skill, he's probably not going to have too much of a problem with any of this. <clears throat> you can fix it to where he does really well by making him attractive, which I probably should do. He's got plenty of points. Let's go ahead and just do this. Uh, let's see. If you give him... Eh, if him attractive, they like you more <laughs> when you say hi. You become best friends, pretty much. All right, so let's go ahead and do that one. And let's see how this works for him. And always do charming if you're trying to do this as well. <coughs> oh, somebody's a little over-emotional. All right, it says we're a friend, but I guarantee you we're further along. And it's probably best friends, to be honest with you. Ah, come on. Eh. Yeah. Best friend already. That's what attractive does for you. 
So you definitely want to use that one. Alright, go over here and do the same thing with this guy. And you'll make another best friend. This is why you don't even have to bother with the social networking if you've got that. So it's kind of nice. But I like having the social networking for the kid, for the people that you've already actually s interacted with, and you can't meet them for the first time. So, <coughs> Mama, if I had a lead to meet, I'd throw it right at you. Because, buddy, you're sitting here working all day, you have no time to exercise, you won't be able to take care of it yourself. It's all right. I might have one somewhere. No, I don't. I have the other one. There you go. I believe we already know Layla. No, we don't. <laughs> Let's go talk to Layla. All right. So this is so much better than sitting there trying to spam the uh, <laughs> the um, all the chat interactions and trying to get their charisma or their relationship up, which drives me nuts. All right. Now, how come you didn't jump to friend right away? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know what her problem is. Uh, she's not too attracted to him. Look at you talking about rockets. She's just she's just humoring you. Alright, we just became friends. That's it. <clears throat> I thought it would have been better than that. Alright, go ahead and talk to this one too. Just to say we did it. And then we're going to go report in. And we are good to go. Again, probably pretty easy. <clears throat> oh, fine. Can't talk to her. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's in the way. We'll come back and deal with you later. Yeah, just sit there and rock on your feet. I don't care. Alright, so we don't get to talk to her yet. <clears throat> yeah, Layla's like... Yeah, I'm kind of insulted. You wouldn't even consider me to be an illegitimate mother. <laughs> Whatever. What are you doing? Oh, I was going to say, we just stopped in the middle of the road. <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> uh, she's all upset about something. <clears throat> okay. Now, now we get to go to the tomb, uh, the pyramid. First of all, before you do that, let's get you set up. You were listening to Nectar, which we need to do that as well. So let's go and get you on that and over to the tomb. And this one, uh, this one's pretty cool. I like this one. We'll get a mummy or two. Um... I think we get one. No. I know we get one. Maybe two. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Um <clears throat> Yeah, I got a really good I got a really good friend named Brandon. You wanna meet him sometime, Layla? <laughs> he lives in he lives on this really cool island out in the middle of nowhere. Real secluded. Yeah. He almost burned up and spontaneously combusted on his first day there. I still laugh when I think about that. That was the funniest thing. I mean, I'm sorry for that one. I was in shock going, I'm going to lose my sim on the very first day. I was all excited about a new LP and boom, here he's going to go. Since then, I've always been very panicked when they get that, uh, that little moonlit that says he's overheating. And then when I sold the stupid, was it the mailbox or was it the garbage can or something? I don't know. That was bizarre. I just deleted it. All right, go ahead and inspect this one. Oh, yeah, I just... Good old Midnight Sun. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, that was the, uh, the beginning of my Midnight Sun challenge, which had a lot of interesting ups and downs. That was a very interesting family. Probably one of my favorite families, just because of how chaotic they are. So, I tried to go back to them, but there was a lot of issues with it. I could not get that game to work to save my life. It, it messed up, so I would like to try it again. I'd have to probably restart it, but... I never made it quite to the end. I wish I had. All right, let's go ahead and just put our keystone here. And yeah, there's nothing you can do with these guys up here. Sometimes I start here 
and work my way over, but usually I just go ahead and start here where they want you to, and then we go from there. Alright. <clears throat> you can do two things. You can either bypass the trap if you want by jumping in here, or you can just go ahead and uh, get rid of the trap. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the trap. And I believe you could try to disarm it if you can. He might be able to. Maybe not. Oppressive heat. Okay. And if you can't disarm it, you can always attempt to cross. And he should be able to disarm it. Vector making is up to nine. Awesome. Alright, let's get you through this one real quick. Now, I'm going to go ahead before he starts the next part. He's going to go ahead and listen to his fishing. We should be able to max that out. All right, at this point, this one's kind of worthless, this dive well, because at this point, you don't really need it to bypass anything. But <clears throat> you can still do it. I mean, yeah, you do. Um, I don't know. Maybe we do need to go do it, because I think it does take you somewhere else. I know this one's going to unlock that. So, all right, go ahead. And, oh, I don't want to look at it. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> go ahead and pick it up. All right. Now, let's go ahead and change your outfit. And... Jump into your swimwear. Let's go explore this one. Yeah, you get flame fruit here. Again, I think you might actually do need to go through this one too. So we need to go do it as well before we stop. I'll try it again. I'm not quite sure. I'm kind of thinking that this one just does this, but this one might open up a door somewhere. It might open up this door, if I'm not mistaken. One of them does. All right. <clears throat> Let's just make sure. Or it may just take you across, like I thought. But I knew this one actually is the only way you're going to get that door open. <laughs> and there's nothing here. You'd swear up and down there's something here because it looks like it leads you to it, but it doesn't. So, I do like this one. Uh, this tomb, like I said, it's not hard. It's just, it's not the longest. Um, there's one that it just goes and goes and goes. You never think you're going to get out of it. You do eventually, but... Alright, so apparently, maybe you could Oh, I think this is where you deactivate this, maybe. I don't remember. I just always go and deactivate it myself, so... Maybe that's what it did. I knew it did something, there was a purpose for it, and I just never use it. Stand on this, so we have a way out of here. There you go. That's your easy way out. Let's use our stairs, go down. There's nothing over here, as much as I would love for there to be. And we'll go find our flame fruit. Alright. He needs to get five, and we don't have five. That's alright. By the time we're through with this thing, we will have more than five. <coughs> He'll get three, I think. Although he might already have some. Doesn't he have some? No, I don't think he does. Where are you at? Where's it at? You're going too slow. <laughs> you're going. You're taking too much time. Ah, come on. There we go. We got three. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch more later into this tomb, so you just kind of have to push on and go through it. All right, break that one and then stop. Okay, let's go ahead and grab you, and we'll push this one a little bit further. <clears throat> Nothing too tricky here. At least I don't think it is. There are some that are, but they're not that bad still. Alright, once you get past that, go ahead and clear. Clear. Stand. And there's nothing to worry about as far as traps. You've already basically taken care of all of it. Um, I'll hold off to that for the bit for the end. This should be worthless, I think. I think it's gold coins. Yeah, you can kind of see it poking out of there, so I knew it wasn't worth that much. All right. Now that just opened up another little way out. So. Nothing too bad. We're just kind of getting ourselves through it. 
slowly but surely. Yay! Worthless. <laughs> another another sarcophagus fragment, which I've got tons of them, by the way. I really do. Um, all right, how about this? Jump on through, and we'll see how far we get to go. Uh, yeah. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. Sometimes I do. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, ah. Alright, this one, not hard. However, your choice, how you want to do this. Um, you can move this guy and this guy. So we're going to go ahead and move. Uh, let's go ahead and move you. We're going to pull you back. I'll try to get him on this little switch. <sighs> And I think it's gonna unlock um, it might unlock that but we still have to go across and do this one <coughs> alright one more that should be good there we go so now best thing to do is just try to jump across it hopefully he'll do it without burning himself yay <laughs> he did it with no, no problem now push that one around, and we'll get you through it. I used to never know how to do that. I didn't know that you could actually do that. Um, I thought you had to just either deactivate it or you had to meditate and get around it. I didn't know you could just jump through it. So, kind of crazy. Alright, now you're going to pull this one as far as you can. And we should be good. There is a door here. I thought there was something over here, but I think I'm wrong. Yeah, I think uh, Jungle Adventures in Sims 4 just doesn't quite compare to all of this. I mean, even though these tombs don't change, they're always the same, I still think it's a lot of fun. And it just, I don't know, different Sims, different experience. So... Alright, you should break that chain, right? Alright, we'll go ahead and do this one first. And again, I swear I thought there was something here, but I must be wrong. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I've ever played as a daredevil play of the adventures. Wouldn't be a bad trait a lot of good ones that would be pretty good. Alright, can you open it? Ah, I wish they would all be auto-opens, but they don't. <laughs> they don't open on, the, on their own all the time. As much as I would like it to. And we'll get you through this one. Yay! Alright. Now, at this point, there is a door here, but we're going to go ahead and explore first. He still wants to do this, doesn't he? Why are you upset? I thought you liked water. <laughs> I swear. Ah. Uh, that's alright. Now, this one, I think... I don't think it really takes you anywhere. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. I forgot. Nope. Just does that. I thought it just showed you what was here. Alright, go ahead and open this one. And we should be good for this part. And there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Double check it off. Ah, oh, these are worthless. <laughs> they are terrible. I'm really hoping for better stuff in the next room. So far, this room's been awful. <clears throat> it would be very nice to get some better stuff. Here's all the flame fruit that you need. So at this point, he can take as much as he wants. And uh, we should have more than enough to go turn in. So I'm going to speed him through because all he's going to do is just harvest all this. And it'll take him a while. But at least now he has more he can take back for his garden that he's going to create. So he can do a little bit more on uh, his nectar making once he gets going with it. But who knows when that's going to be. All right. 
Now, if you go through this door, it takes you out of the tomb. We don't want to go out yet. So, at this point, we still have two areas we want to cover. And usually I go to this side first. There we go. That's our relic that we needed. So now we have two of the 13. It was not hard to get. Um, but it would be very easy to actually mistake these rooms. But there's two rooms on both sides. And I just want to go ahead and cover them both. Oops. Let's go ahead and speed you through this. I probably should have gone to the other room first. But I don't think it really makes that big of a difference. Um... Again, you want to make sure your sim has a level 5 of athletic, or they can't do this. Alright, go over here and inspect this, but before you do it, stop. Stop. I do it every time. There is a trap, so make sure you don't fall for the trap, like I was about to do. So, I always wanted to just run over there, but no, don't mess with it. You should have known if this thing pops up that you've got something to deal with, so it does happen. <clears throat> All right, buddy, find that thing and let's just let's expose it real quick. There you go. Go ahead and disarm it. It is a fire one. That would have been bad news. Where's the? Yeah, we'd have to come all the way back over there. Yeah, not too bad though. Yeah, can you do this one? I hate when it says it's too advanced for him because that's never good. All right, go ahead and do this one. And this should deactivate this too. At that point, um, this one's going to take us out. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Go ahead. You can brush those off. There we go. Alright, so far we've done pretty good on this too. We haven't gotten trapped by anything so far, which is good. So, I'm kind of happy. Uh, oppressive heat? <laughs> I'm surprised it doesn't give you a negative moodlet. I really am. But it doesn't. Now, because he's a loner, he gets this right here, a plus 15, enjoying solitude, which is kind of nice. Alright, go ahead and swim through this tunnel. And this one's lovely. <laughs> I always like this one. Um, Alright, this one... You're going to swear up and down you're about to get burned, but you aren't. But it's like, if I was that close, I would be getting burned right now. I would not be happy. So, it's crazy. Alright, go ahead and jump through this door. It's a small room, but it's got a lot of stuff. Let's see, is there anything else over here? No. There you go. Grab this one. And then go stand on this one. So. <clears throat> let's just get closer and closer to the flames. Go ahead. How about getting even closer? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> yeah, those flames are not going to hurt you. Not one bit. It's crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. You need to get burned with that. Alright, we'll get you through here. Okay, now this... You can go through this if you want. It's going to take you out. But we don't really want to go out. So we're going to take all this. Uh, we are going to go upstairs. I think there is a, um, a chest, but we're going to come right back. So we just go up and out briefly. All right, so this one, you go over here, stand on this. There shouldn't be any traps or anything. I don't think there's any doors. The other side has the, uh, the actual chest. But this will get you back out so you can easily leave if you want to. However, we've left quite a bit undone. Alright, go ahead and use these stairs and go back down. <coughs> so at least now we have an easy way out. That we don't have to go through the dive wells. Alright, you're going to go back through this one. Explore again. And hopefully it goes pretty quick. Alright, get you through to the next side. Go ahead and go. And then now you want to go over to this side. And again, that other door is going to take us basically to the same spot. So, it's not too bad. 
there was another trait that's pretty good to use for your adventurers too. I can't remember which one I've seen before that was actually a good choice, but I always forget. I usually use some of the same ones, either friendly, charismatic, uh, loner. Um, I don't know, just really depends on what I want to do. Alright, now be careful here. There is a trap. So it's very easy to forget. So just look for it. And there we go. Surprised he didn't get a, uh, a wish for this. But he didn't. Yeah, come on. You take too long to do this. Alright, go ahead and disarm that one if you can. Some of these he can, some of these he can't. I'm hoping he can. He should be able to. He's getting close. Alright, go ahead and go over here and just clear it. I like to clear them before I go through the, uh, the dive well. So I think there's... I don't know that there's really anything major in it. I really don't. But we'll go ahead... Oh, wait, let's just collect whatever's under here first. So, again, and we still haven't even finished this tomb. Uh, if you're trying to rush through to get the opportunity done, yeah, you're finished. You could have gone ahead and turned everything in. But we've got quite a bit to explore, and I want to make sure I cover everything. So... When we get back out of here, hopefully he will be able to be to get this done. We'll oh yeah, we're gonna go smash this in a minute. There's that little chest behind it. But I think this one just gives you a keystone, I believe. Or gives you nothing. I don't know what it does. Apparently it doesn't do anything, <laughs> I guess. Not that I can tell. Alright, let's go smash this one real quick. I don't know how people do coming to these countries without this axe. I don't know how they actually try to do these and get very far at all. Um, I've seen a lot of people that first came out that you can see their old LPs and they're, oh, we're going to go to Egypt first. I'm like, why? <laughs> why would you do that? All right, so that's our first gold figurine, which those are not easy to get, by the way. It takes a while to find all of them. It really does. All right. There you go. Fishing is done. And we're going to go ahead and take this one out of here too. At this point, we have done this part of the tomb, but we're going to head over through this door. He's still not done. We still have a whole other section to go through. And I like to get that section done before I wrap it up and leave. Again, just keep an eye on your time. We've got plenty of time. Alright, everything's good here. Let's go upstairs. And then we will move on to the last little bit. Okay. Going down the little area, there is a place to clear. Just double check your walls. Make sure you don't have anything just glaring at you. This is, hey, inspect me. <laughs> Which there isn't. That's all right. I think this is a chest. Or maybe it's just a, uh, a bench. I can't remember. It's. I think it's a chest. Yep, it is. Alright, go ahead and open that one up. Stand on this. Alright, good. Don't know if that's worth anything, but we got more turquoise, <laughs> which is what we needed. And then once we come out of here, we're ready to go back to this fun room over here. So let's send him over here. I like to just go ahead and clear this one out first. And this will lead us into a pretty interesting part of the tomb. Now, of course, I should be listening to my nectar making as well to get that one out of the way. You can get a mummy here, too. It's possible. You can get a mummy in any of them, by the way. I mean, the, the odds are really low for certain ones, but not all of them. Let's go ahead and look inside of it and see if we get one. Don't think we will, but we'll give it a shot. I'm surprised he didn't get a wish to find a hidden door, because there is a couple of them here. There's one. Did you find a friend? No friend? You're going to get pulled in, aren't you? No, you didn't. Wow. All right, so that one's actually very easy. Let's go ahead and pull you out of here. Now, I like to go ahead and save after I've done at least a big portion of the tomb, because I really don't want to go back through all of that as well. So 
I just kind of like to make sure I get that every once in a while, especially in these tombs when you're going to go through some of the really big ones. Just stop and save. Save yourself that headache because once you've done it once and then you've realized, oh, I got to go through all that again. I just shut the game down in disgust. I won't do it. I <laughs> just stop and I'll have to take a day or so and just say, nope, I'll come back tomorrow, maybe. Um, or maybe it takes me two days to come back. I don't know. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull you one time once we get you close enough. Uh, you should be able to get it all the way to the back. <laughs> Rage quit is definitely, definitely something that I have done way too many times. I'm not proud. <laughs> I'm not proud at all, but I... I admit to it. Alright. Now there is a... Oh, no, 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 no. No. I did it wrong. Alright, go ahead and push it again. Uh, I'm usually not this bad. I go ahead and pull this one one time. Alright, we should be discovering this right here. Actually, I believe... Yeah, it should show us this door right here. There we go. Alright. Go in here. There is a lovely little gold coins. Open that one up. And then we're going to go see if there's another mummy over here. Maybe, maybe not. Yay! Caught that just in time. Didn't think I would. Alright. More of these things. I need to assemble these when I get home. Or when we get our uh, vacation home for one of these countries. I should take the chest and go wherever we go next time. So... Please be a mummy. Please be a mummy. Oh, the poor guy's hungry. I'm sorry. Alright, looks like no mummy for you. You'd have found him already. Okay. Uh, everything else is in good shape. I'm, I'm loving it. He's actually doing pretty good. Alright, we're going to clear this one out. And we are going to go through the bottom of this tomb. Now for those of you who are wondering, this will be the last part of the episode. We're going to wrap this tomb up, and then I'm going to close out for the night. So um, so it won't be much longer. So for those of you who are wondering how much longer we got, not much. So just basically get to the bottom of this, and then we're out. So uh, we're going to go down here. Of course, it stops and has to do this every second. But I imagine probably about another good ten minutes, and we should be done. Because i got to get ready for work. Or i got to go to bed. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, go ahead and open that one up. And you needed that crescent key because you got to get in here. Oh, no. <laughs> I froze. Ah, this is just perfect. Alright, there we go. I hate when it happens. Now, you got two of these keystones. So I don't know if you have another one coming up that you're going to use it for again. Or if we've missed something. But we now have two crescent keystones oddly enough. So we'll just double check it and see. Uh, there is a trap here if you don't watch it, but I'm going to come over and smash this first. And then we'll go open this one up, see what we can come up with. And I believe if we do this right, we'll explore first. Alright, goal bars. No, Bubba told me that's actually pretty good. Wow, that's worth a lot. Um, I didn't know you'd get something that big here. I really didn't. Now, I don't think this will deactivate it. <coughs> it might. It might deactivate that trap. Or it might just show you the hidden door. Hold on. I had to stop. Alright, there we go. Alright, nectar making's done too. That's pretty good. Alright, hopes it opens that door. Alright, we're gonna come back over here though. Instead of going out that way, we're gonna come back and we're gonna just expose the trap. Just because I don't want to run through this by accident. So go ahead and inspect it real quick. And let's get that one out of the way. Alright, speed you through real quick. Alright, you're gonna go ahead and disarm it. Uh, this one is another fire trap, so be careful on it. Alright, go ahead and go through the door. And this is where we get to meet our friend. Now, you got a choice here. There is actually a door back here. So if you want to inspect it, you can. Go ahead and find your door, which will show your way out. 
but your friend's right up there. <laughs> He's waiting for you. So, all right, go ahead and speed you through this one real quick. Okay, this takes you back to this little hallway that's back behind it, but you can't open it until you go through all of this. You won't get the mummy unless you open up all six chests. But you will get him. <laughs> you will come. So if you just leave one of them unopened, you'll never go any further. But that's all right. Uh, that is a good good question. What skill do we want to do? Let me just see what's open for him real quick. Hold on. Uh, probably gardening or... Um, yeah, probably gardening, because he's going to need that for his nectar making. So let's get that started for him. Hold on, buddy. Open that. Yep, take that one. Open that and that. <coughs> and we'll get him going. <coughs> and he should open up the mummy right away without even having to stop. So he should. Of course, they're so slow. And <laughs> if you really have the, uh, if you got the bumpy snacks from the, the merchant, you don't even have to worry about them. They won't. They'll attack you, but they won't hurt you. They'll just take the snack and leave you alone. There we go. And our friend here is King Raimundo, Rodo, Rodo Care, or whatever. <laughs> I have no idea how to say it. I right, go. Let's go look at what he had in his tomb take everything out of here for it, poor guy. King Raimundo. He's trying to hold on to that for all eternity. And nope. <laughs> it didn't last, because we had to come take it. Whatever it is. Oh, so nothing in there? You can hide. If you want to hide from him, you can hide. I say just hold on and wait. We're going to take care of the mummy. There you go. You going to curse me today? Are we going to get lucky and get cursed? <laughs> it would be kind of fun. No, <laughs> no, it's not going to curse me. That's all right. He typically has got too high a skill that you won't be cursed. Now, if we brought somebody with us that didn't have any athletic or any martial arts, they would get cursed. And that might be kind of fun to do, but... <laughs> Go ahead and laugh at him. It's awful. I like how it leaves a little, a little pile of ashes there. Poor thing. Um, Alright, so here we go. We're almost at the end. Pretty much at this point, you've covered just about everything. Uh, you just need to get your way out. Go ahead and collect this one. And then we're going to go through this doorway right here. And this is where you're going to get this to fire off when you fully explore the tomb. I think it's right after you get in here. Yep. Go up the stairs. And none of that moves, so you don't have to worry about any of this. I don't think I have anything here. Nope don't. And you have one more way to get out, which will be this thing right here. There we go. Gardening is good. Let's go ahead and actually have you listen to a little bit more before you head on out. And that takes care of this Burning Sands tomb, which is pretty awesome. Alright, you're going to go turn this in. We've got everything covered, and we are ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop him once he gets out of this tomb. So now that it shuts, it doesn't shut till you leave the lot. Once you leave the lot, it is gone. Yep, see how the little door is going back up? So now he's good to go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close it out of here. And then when we get back, um, we'll come back in here. He'll be delivering this, turning this into his contact, and then moving on to the next part, which, of course, we've still got a little bit of time. We're only on day three of six. So we've gotten quite a bit done here in Egypt. Um, I forgot how many of these we've covered, but I believe we've got... Let's see, 3 of 13 discovered, so not bad at all. Alright guys, this is it for me for the night. My voice is just about shot. I hope I can record tomorrow because I'm probably going to have a hard time talking. Uh, I'm already feeling it. But um, the next LP that we are coming back into will of course be Lacey with the Ultimate Sim. And that should be the first thing we kick off with, hopefully tomorrow. If not, tomorrow's going to be kind of crazy for me now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm hoping I record tomorrow. I will do my absolute best. If I'm not here, it will be Thursday. 
But guys, thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it, and uh, I will see you next time. If you're sticking around, I'm sorry. I'll probably be in chat for maybe like two or three minutes, and I'm going to bed myself. All right, guys, have a good one. I will see you next time.